All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a special video here today. I just wanted to go ahead and do my world's pickums. Um, I actually am in a little bit of a uh, leaderboard, I think, with some people from a Discord server, so I'm, we might see that. But first, I just want to go ahead and do a rundown of all of this and show anyone who hasn't done this what it is. So this is Welcome to Crystal Ball. Uh, 20 world's prediction world's prediction questions are available now. Make your selections right up until the start of worlds on October 10th. Make sure to lock in your picks before the window closes. The coin won't be here to help salvage any uh, missed crystal ball opportunities. So um, check back after worlds concludes to see how you scored and earn rewards based upon your performance. Crystal ball points and rewards are separate from traditional pick'em. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and sit, click, I'm ready to make my, make my picks, but I just wanted to preface this with, I think it's about five or four days until this, uh, as of this recording, I mean, until the picks are locked in, and someone mentioned in a video that I saw recently that um, you may want to wait to do some of your predictions and stuff until um, pretty much, like, the day before, uh, so like October 9th, basically before the day before um, the first uh like playing stage of world starts on october 10th because um people there's uh the golden guard the world's world's qualifier uh series i guess is what it's called between bds from europe and um golden guardians from north america so you might want to wait just to see what ha happens in that one so you get a little bit more accurate of picks but otherwise you can go ahead and fill them out right now and you have up until that day to change them for however you want so you could change at the last moment um if you wanted to but yeah let's go ahead and click i'm ready to make my picks so we have let's see what exactly do we have let me zoom out just a little bit more so i can see a little bit larger of an area so we have um the crystal ball picks, these lock in four days and 12 hours, well, almost 13 hours from now, which is the 5th of October. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do crystal ball. How many reverse sweeps will there be at Worlds out of nine total best of fives? So let's see, that's a good question. So it's gonna be zero, one, two, or three or more. Uh, reverse sweeps. I don't think there's gonna be many, if any. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go with could be two. There might be two. I'm actually just going to go for one right now. Um, we'll see, though. What will be the, the duration of the longest single worlds, single game at Worlds? The duration of the longest single game. Um, so, the longest game at Worlds, I don't think, actually, it might be, honestly, more than 50 minutes. I'm trying to think. It's probably one of these two. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, there could be one that's even like more than an hour. We'll see. But I, I doubt it because of how the game is now. It's, it's usually skewed more shorter because of the objectives and stuff, like Elder Dragon and such. But um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 45 minutes to almost 50 minutes. Let's go ahead and confirm that pick. How many pentakills will there be at Worlds? It's, of course, you can change these picks if you want up until the picks lock. Uh, but yeah, anyway, how many pentakills will be there? Will there be at Worlds? Zero, one, two, or three or more? So, uh, this is hard, honestly. I don't think there's going to be that many pentacles. Um, this might even be too much, but I'm actually going to say two for now and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, which Drake will be killed the most at Worlds? Um, let's see. I feel like Cloud used to be the most often and seen, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I think Hextech is somewhat often. I think Mountain's pretty often, and so is Kim. I'm gonna say Mountain. I think, I think Mountain might be the most. Let's let's go with Mountain. Um, how many Baron Steels will there be at Worlds? Baron Steels. I think there's gonna be a pretty good amount of them, um, especially in the North America games. I feel like. Uh, the North America games junglers don't uh, are, don't know how to smite secure very well, but maybe I'm wrong. But I think there'll be maybe about three to five. Let's let's go with that. I don't think there's gonna be that many, but there'll be a few. All right, that's all of the uh, event lock-ins that we can do. Let's go to champions who will be played in the most different roles at Worlds. Okay, so you can select any champion here. Um, let's see, 
what's the most versatile champion right now? There's a lot of them, but not that many at the same time. Uh, pretty much, we need uh, champions that are really good at flexing. Um, maybe Tristana, but that's only two rolls. I don't think that's, that's enough. I think it's going to be a three-roll champion, most likely. Gragas can be played top and mid, and maybe jungle. It could be Gragas. Let's let's have a let's like pencil Gragas in for now. Let's go Gragas maybe. Gwyn could be top or jungle. I don't think she'll be seen mid much. Heimerdinger probably just one or two rolls. Jax. I don't think we're gonna see him much else than top, but we could see him jungle. Doesn't seem like we'd see a mid. Kaisa is probably just going to be DDC. Jace is going to be mid or top. I don't think any jungle, so that wouldn't work. Cassante, um, let's see. This one's going to be a bit tricky because there's a lot of champions in the game. <laughs> but uh, there's only a certain amount that are usually played in pro right now, so it shouldn't be too too hard. Just gotta kind of quickly go through them in my head. So Malkai. I don't know if we're going to even see Maokai, honestly. We might see him a little bit, but I don't think he's that good anymore, overall. Uh, Amelia is only support. Mordekaiser, Morgana, maybe Nico. Could see her support, we could see her mid. We could see her top, perhaps? Maybe jump. Honestly, it might be Nico, actually. Let's pencil Nico in. I think there's a chance she could be more... Well, it says we'll be played. She might just be banned like the whole time, though. I think I'll keep I'll keep Gragas just for now. But she is very versatile. She can go in a lot of roles. She can even go a APC, honestly. Um, but people don't really use that much. Uh, new new Pike. Trying to think. Rel Rel's jungle and support doesn't really go anywhere else. Um, Renekton, no. Rumble, maybe. You can see him, him mid, top, and, and, uh, jungle, I think. I don't know if people are playing him jungle, though. I don't think, I don't think so. It's possible, though. Uh, let's see, what else? Seraphine, I don't think people are really playing Seraphine. Are they? Swain. Silas could be top, mid, or jungle. That's true. That's true. Are people playing Silas very much? He's usually a pretty good world's champion if people pick him, but some people just don't pick him for some reason. Maybe they're just not good at him enough or something. I'm not sure. I think Silas isn't a bad option, actually. Mm, what else do we have? Yeah, there's not a whole lot, really. Ziggs could be bait ADC or mid. Yeah, I think it's going to be Silas or Gragas, most likely. Um, should I just go Silas for fun? I think it's more likely to be picked than Gragas, but it's hard to say for sure. All right, that was difficult. Uh, who will be the picked the most during Champion Select at Worlds? Who will be picked the most? So the highest, uh, highest picked champion? I mean, I feel like Zaya will be in every game, no? Let's pencil her in. Um, Renekton, definitely possible. Actually, it could be Renekton. I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Zaya though. But I think Renekton's definitely possible. It could be the, the most pick. Let's go with Zaya for now. Who will be banned the most during Champion Select at Worlds? I feel. Actually, I'm not sure. I was gonna say maybe Tristana, but. I feel like people aren't that, that scared of her anymore. I think Nick, Nico is pretty perma banned. She might still be perma banned. I think we'll p pencil her in for now. Um, I think she could be the most banned. It used to be Kaisa for a long time, but I don't think people. I feel think people are more happy to handshake her, especially now. I don't think people think she's as strong as she used to be. So that's where I would go with that. Um, other than that, though, most bands. Maybe Cassante? No, nah, I think people will let Cassante through. I think people are more comfortable playing around Cassante now. 
we figured him out just a little bit. Um, let's see. Most banned could be LeBlanc. Nah, I don't think it'd be LeBlanc. She, she might be banned a whole lot though. That's definitely a possibility. Nico. Maybe Melia or Rel? Those are also definitely possible perma bans. Other than that, though, I don't think there's too much, if any. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Maybe Zeri. Maybe Zeri will be banned, actually. People are pretty scared of Zeri. No, I think she'll be picked more than banned. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, he'll be banned the most during champion select at Worlds. So I'm going to go with Nico for now. Who will have the most total deaths at Worlds? Um, oh, wow. So probably a support. Maybe Jace, though. No, I'm thinking more like NA. NA Jace ties more than, than, pro, than uh, Worlds Jace, usually. I think. Usually going to be a support, though. Like a squishier support as well. But maybe not. Um, I'm trying to think. This is, this is difficult. What exactly? Who would die the most? Someone that's squishy. Someone squishy and would die a lot. Not LeBlanc. I think she's a bit too, um, like she and Juka out of situations if she needs to a little bit too easily. Someone that would be picked a lot, but also would die a lot. Probably Nautilus, actually. That's not a bad shout, shout, actually. Let's pencil that in for now. Maybe Renekton? He's going to be frontlining a lot. He's going to have to die, pretty much. It's not a bad idea. Renekton? Who else? Who else? Not really any of these, I don't think. Maybe Tristana. Hmm. Maybe Zeri. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be Nautilus or Renekton probably. Maybe Rel, but or maybe Rakan. Yeah, all of these are definitely possibles. It's possibilities. I don't know how much Nautilus we're gonna see actually. We might. I don't think he's actually that great right now, but people seem to be picking him still. Same thing with Rakan. Um, probably. I'm just going to say Renekton for now. Uh, who will have the highest win rate at Worlds? Minimum five games played. Highest win rate? Uh, probably Zaya, right? I think, because we'll be seeing her quite a bit, most likely, right? Unless the meta completely changes from what we saw in Summer, which is definitely possible. It's been uh, quite a few patches since Summer. Uh, splits of, from all the regions. Then I haven't really been checking them super closely, but... I feel like I'm not too far off on some of these things. Um, highest win rate. Who do I think is really strong, really good at winning games? Something that's definitely going to be picked for sure. Maybe Jax? I feel like Jax is really strong. Jace, Tristana, Cassante, yeah, or maybe LeBlanc, or maybe Nico. Let's go Jax. I think he will be played. I might be problem. It might be a problem if he doesn't have minimum of five games played. But yeah, I'm glad they did add that though because I'm pretty sure last year they didn't have the five games played and it was like it could be like a one-time pick and then it just won one time. And was never played again, so it's like a 100% pick rate or 100% win rate. All right, that's all of the champions. Let's do go to players who will play the most different champions at Worlds. Ooh, uh, there's a lot of people that could do that. I think um, what's uh, Caria? I think is definitely a possibility for that. And then I hear um, who is it? There's this one guy I can't think of his name for right now. I'm sorry. Hold on, I'll find him, I'll find him. Most different champions. 
quickly going through all these guys in my brain. No, no. It also most likely be someone that goes far because they'll they'll be able to play more champions unless they're just going the same one. Was well, that like an animated? What the heck? Wait, let me just look at this right. Oh, what the heck? This guy has a it's like an animated thing. What the heck? That's cool. Okay. Um. Interesting. He must be their sub, I guess. I uh, still haven't found the guy I'm thinking of though. Zika. I hear good things about Zika. I think it might be Carrie, honestly. Zayas, maybe. Hmm. Okay. No, I still haven't found him yet, actually. Maybe I'm thinking of Ben. I think Ben might play a lot of them. Not 100% sure, though. I'm just going to go with Carrie. Well, no. No, Carrie is not going to do it, is he? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with probably Ben or Zayas. BLG. Do I think BLG is going to make it far? I think BLG might make it a little bit far. Nah, I'm going to go Zayas. I'm going to go Zayas because I think T1 might make it farther. I'm not sure. All right, let's, let's try it. Uh, who will get the most kills in a single game at Worlds? Uh, probably Ruler, but it's hard to say for sure. That's really hard to say. Who will have the Kai's KDA at Worlds? Oh, is Viper here or no? Viper... No, he's not here. Okay, that sucks. Then probably either Ruler or... Highest KDA. Hmm... That could be a lot of different people, honestly. Maybe Chovy. I'll go Chovy. Mm. Yeah, I'll go Chovy. I feel like he doesn't die very much. Who will get the most first blood kills at Worlds? Uh, most likely a jungler. JDG are probably the favorites, so Kanavi wouldn't be a bad choice here. Um, who else exactly? Most first blood kills. It says kills, it doesn't say assists, so maybe I'm wrong about that. Is there anyone else in terms of junglers? Oh yeah, there's Doron as well. Peanut, maybe Peanut, honestly. River, if he makes it through the series. Contracts? Could be. Nah, I don't think so. Maybe Tarzan? Maybe owner? Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Kanavi. We'll see. Alright, who will get at least one pentakill at Worlds? I think I think Ruler might, but it's really it is really hard to say. <laughs> I'm kinda just throwing a name out there a little bit. Alright, and then teams. Which team from a region with two seeds or less will advance the furthest through worlds? With two seeds or less. Um, I feel like it'll probably be either PSG, GAM, or Loud, but I feel like Loud might not make it that far. I feel like it's going to be one of these two, and I feel like GAM is probably more reliable. Um, I'm not really sure about Team Wales or this guy, this one either. I feel like Flying Orchestra might do something, but I'm not sure how far they'll get. Let's go with GAM. Which team will win the shortest game duration at Worlds? Uh, shortest game duration. Okay. And this is all the teams, right? Uh, it's probably someone that's going to kind of stomp, which is probably going to be JDG. But it could be someone else. Dam1 Kia, or D plus Kia, I guess now they're called. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to go with JGG. All right, which team will have the most Baron Steals at Worlds? Most Baron Steals as a team, that's interesting. 
Who is good at stealing barons? Um, that's a good question, honestly. Maybe owner? Maybe Billy Billy? Maybe Peanut? <laughs> um, I feel like G2 upsets quite a bit, though. Who is G2's jungler, actually? Hold on, let me... Let me find out who G2's jungler is real fast. One second. <laughs> uh, they're down here somewhere. Top jungle. No. Support. Yike? Oh, I don't really know him that much. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Billy Billy for now. Then I think... Could be like Gen G, though. It's hard to say. Which team will win Worlds? Is that worth 100 points? Oh, okay, yeah. I mean... <laughs> You have to say that JDG is like the favorite. It's pretty obvious. It would be a big upset for sure. And if they did win Worlds, by the way, they've won, I'm pretty sure, Spring Split, MSI, Summer Split, and then now they would win, if they won Worlds, then they would win Worlds too, which would be the complete, which I think is the first time anyone, any team has actually ever done that, when won everything in a year. Uh, might be wrong about that, but yeah, that would be kind of historical. Um, I mean, even if it even if it wasn't the first team that did it, did it, yeah, it would still be pretty awesome and pretty pretty historical either way. Um, all right, and then which team will play the most different champions at Worlds? That's a good question as well. Um, most different champions? I feel like it might be one of the uh, the LCS teams actually, like maybe Golden Guardians or uh, NRG. Nah, they, nah, because they probably won't get as far, though, as some of these other teams, which have more chances to, to play more champions. I think it would have to be a team that has to change up their, their matchups a lot, though. So they wouldn't be exactly be the the most winning team, I don't think. I would say maybe... Nah, I don't think Genji is going to change up their picks that much. Maybe, maybe Billy Billy. I feel like they have some really cool stuff going on. All right, and then that's going to be all of the crystal ball picks. Um, yeah, so that's all the stuff that I have. If you guys are interested in any of that, I'm just going to kind of, you can pause the video if you noticed anything that you like, or if you want to copy and paste if you want to yours, feel free. But yeah, that's going to be the crystal ball picks. And then let's go straight into, let's see, what is this? Yeah, it just like shows you which one is which. Okay, let's go into the picks, the plan stage picks. All right. <clears throat> Worlds begins October 10th with plans. Eight teams enter, but only two will advance. Pick the two teams you think will reach the Swiss stage. Oops, excuse me, the, the Swiss stage. Uh, warning: Winner of qu Worlds Qualifying Series, Golden Guardians versus Team BDS on October 9th, will advance to plans. Pick at your own risk. So, as I was saying earlier, one of these teams are going into plans, and the other one isn't. So, if you choose one, chose one and cho uh, didn't choose the other one, then you might uh, be a little bit screwed here, but I'm so personally, I think Golden Guardians are going to uh, defeat BDS here, but um, Golden Guardians have looked a little bit shaky at the very, very end, um, even though they've been doing really good. So it's hard to say for sure for me. But I think Golden Guardians are going to make it out. And then uh, for my second pick, um, since this that would assume that this they beat BDS, so BDS would be a, an option for the second pick then I would say I think Gam's going to make it out more than anyone else here. I think PhD Talon has a chance, and I think Loud has a maybe small chance, but I don't think the rest of them will, unfortunately. Uh, they're all good teams, though, I think. But yeah, uh, all right. It says pick wisely at the very end, and then we're going to go ahead and click continue. Let's lock those two in for now. Um, we can change them if we want, but we shall see. All right. And then it says the correct pick it will mean plus 10 points. So we get plus 20 points pretty much for getting both of these right if, if they are right. All right. And then we, can, we can't we can choose the Swiss ones until nine and a half days from now, pretty much. Uh, almost 10 days in the quarterfinals. We, it doesn't look like it gives us an actual countdown, but yeah. All right. And then uh, this is our leaders for everything and nothing's done so far, so we'll have to figure it out. All right, well, thank you all for watching once again, and I'll catch you in another part. All right, see ya.